site up and running again. Just need to switch on the environment control console. Should be right outside the door. I'm sure nothing is going to go horribly catastrophically wrong when I do that. Oh shit, stuff went horribly catastrophically wrong. Declan, are you there? Declan! I should probably- oh, fuck. I should probably run. Oh, oh shit! Oh, fuck. Come on, come on! Come on! Oh, the keypad doesn't even work. Wait. Oh! that way. It's like a choose your own adventure and I chose the ending where I die. <laughs> Wrong page. Go back. Does that mean I just need to not go through there at all? That hatch? Or do I just need to go the other direction out the hatch? I don't know. Maybe I'll just try not going through the hatch. No, no, I have to go through the hatch. There's a horrible creature in the greenhouse. It tried to kill me. Do not return to base. Does anyone read me? Ina, Lucas, Commander Wilcox. I've got to warn them. Uh, no, this is the way out. I need to get to communications. Living area. Infirmary? Wait, is the communications outside? Ah, oh, it is. Plus, I think I just want to be outside anyway. <laughs> Good on air. If I can get to Declan at the satellite station, we can try to re-establish communications. Oh, I love how there's more urgency to them pressing the button. They didn't just calmly press it, but went like slam, slam, slam. Like, come on, open up, open up. Oh, same with this too. More nervous. Getting more air. That's a really cool detail. Let's get the hell away from this base.
I think Declan... <clears throat> Declan is probably dead. Still not hungry? Okay. Oh. What the fuck? Declan? There's something wrong. I'm not gonna close the back this time. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it open, ready to go. Everything go? Oh, great. How are you staring at your bare hand? We have a suit on. I love formations that look like this. Yeah, we're just... The orb is reacting to my hand. We're just wearing casual clothes right now. Freaking fantastic this looks. This is I like this must be some sort of ancient technology left here. But then again, is any of this really real? It's called Cave of Madness, and I'm wearing casual clothes even though I should need a spacesuit. So who knows, but assuming this is all real, <laughs> it seems to be left behind by obviously some sort of intelligent species. This place was built. For some reason I have control over it. That's not good. Oh, doesn't like that. When I turn to look at it, it retreats. Wait, so I need to keep looking at it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. You have to, like, really, really look at it, though. Not just, like, in its general direction, but, like... You see the light? Oh, 
want to read that, but I don't think now's the time for reading. Hold on, what do I what do I need here? Place orb. Oh, I don't have an orb. No, 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 put that down, put that down, whew, yeah. I don't know if time passes while you're reading, I'm going to assume so. Fuck off. You're not gonna go away completely though, are you? Nope. And you're going to come for me in this direction, aren't you? Yep. <laughs> Little fucker. <clears throat> Look at this place. Like, what is this? This is just like boards. Like wood boards that people would make. This one's working differently. The scar is not charging this enough. I, maybe I need more energy. Looks like I'm not getting bothered by that thing here. It's just like, what sort of technology is this? Again, I'm just assuming this stuff is real, which seems very unlikely, but... Like, I don't think it's all just a dream and none of this means anything. There's some sort of realness here. So then who built this stuff? <laughs> oh! Whoops! Whoopsie! Yeah, fair enough. What the hell is this place? Your hands are full. True enough. I guess I can't, uh... I can't put it in my inventory. Just put it back here. Whoops. One thing. Where am I? Sleep has no place to call its own. Today, I vomited in disgust at my failure, and what I vomited up I tried to crawl away. I thought I heard you, you little fucker. Get out of here. Hope that'll buy, buy me enough time. Time definitely passes while you're reading. No, I did it again. What I vomited up, tried to crawl away. Looked up pleadingly as I killed it. Easy. You are a scientist. There are no failed experiments, only more data to collate. Yes. It is a light source, I suppose, but I do not require light. I have not used the bovine... The bovine jelly of my sockets for some time. Bovine jelly of my sockets? What? Man, I gotta deal with this thing before. I read these notes. I'm guessing this will deal with it? I hope. Oh, it's infused with energy now. So I probably need to put it back in the other thing, now that it's charged. Oh! Jesus. There we 
we go. It worked. It's clearing the way. But is that gonna keep this thing out? Doesn't look like it. It's still there. I think I just gotta read the notes and just live with it. Read fast. The orbs are corrupted from their original purpose by the sibilant frequencies of the filth. So I commanded the black worm... Oh, it pauses if I do this. Um, I commanded the black worm... Jism? Gizm? To leave the orbs, but the filth is stubborn. It will not give up the corpse of its enemy. Corrupted from their original purpose. The filth. Is the filth? I mean, the filth must be the blackish, weird stuff that I guess didn't originate from the greenhouse. I think. I think the doctor just took a sample of it from somewhere. It was already on Mars. Where am I? Sleep at... Oh, it's the same. My name is... Uh, easy, I'll write down my method for writing reveals. I take the vermiculated orb and charge it using the machine I fabricated from the Martian schematics. Supercharging the anima burns out the infecting filth. It works, but only for the moment. The flare of the supercharged anima burns itself out momentarily, allowing the zero-point pathogen to take root again. What if I soaked it in the pools? My theory is sound. I will achieve it. Zero-point pathogen. Whoever was here was trying some kind of experiment. You know, for some reason, this section of the game is giving me major Call of Cthulhu vibes. Um, the, the game Call of Cthulhu, Dark Corners of the Earth. I'm not sure exactly why this section specifically, because most sections like the space station don't give me that vibe at all, because there's no space stations in Call of Cthulhu Dark Corners of the Earth. But this section reminds me a lot of it. What's... Uh-oh. What is that? Why is that happening? Those particles look so cool. I need another orb. So yeah, this isn't... This isn't how this technology is supposed to be. It's been corrupted. It's been misused. More thoughts arrived. They look like space people. Space suits. They might wake up the dreamers. I think I will torture them. My mother frightened me with stories of witches and hags. Jenny green teeth pulling children into the pond to eat. But my mother never existed. I can be Jenny green teeth. Jenny filth teeth. Look at the space people such nightmares. I wonder if the glow of this pretty, pretty orb would attract them. I could be the glass-toothed grin below the light stalk of an anglerfish.
That's where it goes after it's charged. Is that a person or just a rock? It's a rather head-shaped object on top, isn't it? If it's just a rock. Nope. Yep. Bad idea. Chipped object was the orb. Oh, fucking hell. missed it. This is familiar. Three connections. Ah, right, gotta charge it. Ah, there's one behind this. So now this this one needs to be charged as well. Some of them are quite well hidden, yes. Follow the vines. I don't like that, but I feel relatively safe holding this orb in my hands. Oh. Well, apparently it doesn't keep that thing away.
Oh, I think I should go. So now that it's inside my head, and I assume trying to take me over, I think that's where we are. Probably going to have to try to fight or escape it from inside of us. I love that the mysterious person had, like, a filth bikini. <laughs> like a bikini made out of filth just to cover up their private parts. <laughs> it just looked really silly. This game is such an odd mix of things that I really like and things that are just really campy, I guess. It feels like a cheesy B-movie in some ways. All the stuff at the space station before the horror felt really good, like just really fantastically made. And I was absolutely into it. This stuff, though, once we got into steam, lots and lots of steam vents as puzzles, kind of, not really puzzles, just obstacles. And orbs that we can control. And notes from people that are, well, you know, they're crazy. It's the moons of madness. They write mad letters everywhere. And yeah, I don't like the whole madness as an aesthetic kind of thing that they're doing and it is pretty common. Yeah, so far this game is a real mixed bag. Overall, I like it a lot because the things that it does well, it does very well. But a lot of parts of it are also just deeply, deeply silly. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to go around in our childhood basement and try to get a demon, alien, filth creature out of our head. <laughs>